Hey friends, it's Susan from LakesLikeMine.com and I am coming to you this Monday morning um, in my pajamas before I have compression or even coffee this morning. Um, one of the questions I see all the time on social media is about using um, a, uh, the GLP-1 agonist drugs like Wagovi, Manjuro, um, Victoza even, and stuff like that. They're the injectable weight loss drugs. I use Ozempic because it's what my doctor will give me because I'm not diabetic and what my insurance covers also. So one of the reasons that I actually went to Potsdam to the World Lipedema Congress was to learn about what the latest research was on these GLP-1 agonist drugs. And this is what I found. It's one of my top five findings from the Potsdam Congress that was in Germany a couple of weeks ago. So um, one of the doctors that works with Dr. Amron over at the Roxbury Institute in California gave a really good presentation on it. And this is what he said. <coughs> he said, they did a research study on these GLP-1 agonists. And in general, um, they said, don't delay conservative or surgical treatment for lipedema based on the fact that you're taking one of these injectable weight loss medications. They, they said that it's a great way to help you um, adhere to a lipedema friendly diet like you might find in the Lipedema Nutrition Guide or some of the other anti-inflammatory um, diet books that are out there. And it also said they do have anti-inflammatory properties. So they can help you to lose some of the non-diseased adipose tissue, but they're not going to re remove or reduce the lipedema nodules or the already diseased tissues. So um, I thought I would just share with you because um, a lot of people may think, oh, I'm on whatever it is, Manjaro, the big popular one, um, or I'm on Ozempic, so I'm just not going to deal with my lipedema, not wear my compression, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not what the research says. And I'll actually do a blog post about this because it's such an important topic and the Lipedema Education Group is actually um, doing a an article on this. But I wanted to get it to you first because uh, it's such a hot topic right now. So anyway, today I have some tests and stuff going on. I've missed the mark here. Um, and so <laughs> um, I am gonna go ahead and do my Ozempic in my the back of my arm today because I don't want it to mess with how my, um, how my lymphocentigraphy goes today. So that's it. Uh, if you use it, don't use it instead of doing your conservative therapies and use it to adhere to the diet that you have been working on to try and control your lipedema in other ways. And I hope this helps somebody. Uh, have a great day and I'm off to go put my compression on. See you later. Bye.